It's a clerical error. What's that big ball of what light up in the sky? What the heck is going on? I gotta put my thing down. This is chill for today. And boy, are we happy campers or what? Look at this sun. Oh my Such God. Oh. Now you can't see my face. Well, that's better, I guess. It's been a long time coming. Oh, it has. It's, I mean, it is so beautiful out. It's just unbelievable. It's supposed to stay like this all day long. I'm we being, haven't had one of those yet this year. Oh, I'm there, baby. I'm there. So I want to ask you a question. Me? Yes. Okay. Why don't you take me karaoke anymore? <laughs> do they even karaoke anymore? Oh, I'm sure they do. Well, so why don't you take me karaoke anymore? What is what, what are you doing? It's always the thrill of my life. You love it when I get up and sing. What? I didn't say a thing. You don't have to. Well, I do a pretty fine job. Yes, you do. So what's you your... have a very uh, nice voice. So what is the deal? What is the deal? Yeah, why don't you take me karaoke anymore? Oh. Um, oh, right. Yeah, I was sitting around bars. This isn't my favorite I... thing in the world to do. They don't smoke in there anymore. I know. That's a good thing. Oh, I'll tell so you So all they have is the stink from all those cigars and cigarettes they had uh, yeah. 20 years ago. Yeah. You, you never get that smell out. No. You, you just don't. You know, when we lived in a town in Montana, tiny town, we used to go karaoke because I did like to sing. I did a pretty fine job. Anyway, there was this guy there one night and everyone kept saying whatever his name was. Do a staircase. What is it? Stairway to heaven. Stairway to heaven. Do a stairway to heaven. You know, Led Zeppelin. And we said, oh, brother, this is going to be good. Because he was sitting at the bar, putting beers back, smoking cigarettes, like a one lighting the last one with the next one, or lighting the next one with the last one. And make it, you know, skinny shit, too. You said an S word. I did. And he was, though. So we said, okay, this has got to be good. So the guy I tell up you there what, and he puts Led Zeppelin to shame. Unbelievable! He hit every note perfectly. Oh, just phenomenal! I went out and bought the Led Zeppelin album <laughs> just for because he did that song. That yeah, great. He did. In fact, when he was done, of course, everyone everyone knew this guy at the bar, you know, so they all knew he sang this song. I'm sure you've already told them. This no, story, I don't think so. I don't think so. But I really. I think so. Well, anyway. At our age, we forget. I would, he he was so good that yeah. he did it again. There was yeah. a do it again, do it again. Okay, so I didn't realize I had maybe mentioned this before. Yeah. Okay, well whatever. And then there's the uh, dirty uh, karaoke story. What was that? That's the one where you got me up there to do it. Oh, you loved it. I did not love it. I can't sing at all. We were again in a bar doing karaoke. And he, do you do karaoke anywhere else? In my bathroom. Oh, okay. With the radio. Anyway, so he loved this song by, who was it? What was it by? Boogie Woogie Train. Boogie oh, Woogie. Yeah. The Tractors. The Tractors. And he loved this song. So he says, I'll, I'll get up and do this song if you'll do it with me. And I said, okay, fine. So I got up there with him. And he started singing, and he I was, starts singing. we started singing, and I realized he's got this. He's doing fine. So I slowly backed off, and I quit singing. He wanted to you kill me. You didn't slowly back off. You just stopped singing. <laughs> well, I guess I did. So I was having, page two, I was having this interesting conversation via you know, uh, comments. Uh, this gal I love, her name is, I'm going to say it wrong, it's either Mosca or Mosca, M-O-S-C-A. She's a, 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 a subscriber, and I love her. She's just super, great sense of humor and all that. So we were talking about um, financial stuff. I can't recall, it had to do with something that I mentioned in a, what did we talk, oh, taxes, taxes, taxes. And then we had this small business that was like dying on the vine. So she was writing and saying, she, are you ready for this? She wants to buy a car wash. You know, one of those car washes. Mm -hmm. And she's got like her, it's all, she's got it in her brain. It's got to be six bay. It's got to have truck, truck washing and car washing. And I said, now this is somebody who knows what they want. Oh, what's going on? What well, happened? There are huge potholes in the road here. And it's the main road through town. 
just enormous monoliths. So I said, I, what on a car wash? Who would ever thought about owning a good business? Go for it. I told her, go for it. But we were talking about, you know, as you get older and how, uh, you know, talking, I say talking back and forth, about, um, you know, Social Security and your investments and how much money. And this is it, you know, as you get older, uh, more mature, of course, as we know, I'm in my mid-50s. <laughs> Excuse me, I must have something in my throat. And, and without getting into too much personal stuff, but you know, when you get to this age and you start to look at your money, the money you have for the rest of your life. Of course, all I have to do is look in my wallet. And it's pro yeah, it's about right. You say, how much, how much should I spend now? How much should I save? Now, see, we don't have kids and we don't want to leave it to anybody but ourselves. But you say, how much? How much are you supposed to save? How much can you have fun with, right? Right. Right. So these are questions, you know, that, that you have to, i got to get rid of some of that, son, um, that you start to ask yourself as you get to this age in life. And, well, it's no picnic, let me tell you what. No, it's not. It's not. That's it. That's oh, all that's I it. have to Okay, say. all right. So, uh, I think that's it. I think it's something everybody goes through in their life unless they have tons and tons of money is that you know most of us when we get to retirement mm -hmm. it's always that question mm -hmm. are you going to have enough money to live out your life mm -hmm. don't count on social security well it, i was just going to make this point now you know i did not get into politics or any of that thing but this past year, I want you to hang on to your Buster Browns. I got an $11 raise. No, that's, that was for the whole year. That's for the whole year. Yeah. Social Security went up for me $11 for the entire... That is not even a dollar a month. I got zip. He got zip. Now, our health insurance went up, our car insurance went up, our electricity went up, Everything our food went, went up, up, our clothing went up. Everything went up. But, uh, you know, if it wasn't for global warming and the <laughs> elimination of the icebergs, they'd set us all on ice flows and shove us out to sea, but now there's no more ice flows. So now, you know I'm going to be cutting all of that out. Oh, you can't cut it out. Why? It's true. It it's is, all true. It's, but it's terribly depressing. <laughs> it's called life. Here comes clouds. We're going downtown. So we have to run an errand. Look at this. You should show them that. Okay. Well, this I don't, is what I don't outside see it here. of a high school yeah. looks like. I don't really now see it. Portland, Oregon. Yeah, I don't think you see it. Food carts everywhere. right outside of the high school. Can we you imagine that? that when I went to school. No, and here's a view of everything else. That's we going had to on walk around. two blocks down the hill to Wally's to get a hot dog or something. My father had to walk seven miles each way in the snow in Colorado to go to elementary school. Oh, I thought he walked seven miles to school and ten miles home. <laughs> Don't you love those stories about your parents, what they told you as kids yeah. they had to do? Uh, I usually like to have a shovel with me when they tell those stories. So. <gasps> oh, oh, it's, oh, oh shoot. Oh, oh, heck. We may not be going It's the Shamrock now. Run. I wonder yes. if you can see that. Can they see that? Can you see if they can see that? Can they see it? I don't know. Here. here. I can't tell. Here. Well, we had to go in a different direction. They the, have the road blocked. They have the road the totally blocked Shamrock for the Shamrock Run. Run. Shoot, I wish you could have seen it. I don't know whether you got it. A bunch of people running around in green t-shirts. A bunch of people running around in green t-shirts. Oh my gosh, we've just been chatting up a storm here. Well, Will, you got anything else? No. All right. We had a nice St. Patty's Day. We did. We had cold can and soup, and like we told them already. Soda bread. Soda watched bread. The quiet man. And we watched The Quiet Man. Uh, one of our viewers, Ellen, who lives in... Washington State, whom we might see next month because she and her husband are thinking about coming down. And we've not met them, so that would be a kick. Anyway, she emails or, you know, combo. She says, Did you see The Quiet Man? And I'll tell you what, that's like one of our most favorite films of all time. Maureen O'Hara, oh, God, she was gorgeous. John Wayne, oh, Ford John Bond, Wayne. Victor oh. McLaughlin, Barry Fitzgerald. Arthur Shield. It oh, it was wonderful. It film. was so good. It was so good. So if you haven't seen it, it was done in the 50s, sometime in the 50s. It's gorgeous. It's, it takes place in Ireland, and oh my gosh, the 
Oh, well, the scenery's the worth seeing the movie. Oh, comedy. comedy. It's oh. Action story. Yeah, it's really fun. It's a fun movie. All right, are we done? I, I think I've we're been done. done. For days. For days. All right, everybody. Well, just a little uh, car talk here. I know I probably went, oh my gosh, 11 minutes. I'm going to have to do a little cut and paste here. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot. I know, you know, we've had. Well, yeah, here's something interesting. Now, you know, we do car talk. It's about all. time you got to something interesting. <laughs> uh, we do car talk, you know, at least once a week. And we uh, do our signature glass of wine once a week. And, of course, I cook. But we took that field trip out t through the mountains. And, and I have to say, we we almost never get a thumbs down. I, very few. Very. Oh, my gosh. Do you know so many thumbs down on that trip out to Maybe the, they hate out. I, I wondered what that was. And I was saying, well, okay, you didn't like the video. Why didn't you Maybe like the video? Maybe they were jealous because we live in such a beautiful state. We do live in a beautiful state. Maybe they're stuck state. in a city somewhere surrounded by concrete. Yeah. These people are going to get seasick me going back and forth and back and forth. I know. I'm getting sick. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for indulging us. And we will see you later. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.